the energy in this building they are fired up for game one back with that after this and welcome in everybody glad you're with us the show presents the national league division series it's the philadelphia phillies going up against the atlanta braves John Jambi, Chris Singleton with you. Postseason baseball singing, it's always great to see and be a part of. Oh, Boog, you just never know what's in store when it comes to postseason baseball. You do know you're going to see some amazing pitching, guys coming out of the bullpen throwing 100, some incredible defensive plays, some big knocks, and maybe a mistake or two that will live on forever. All I do know is I'm pumped up for this one. First pitch coming your way next. So almost ready to get underway and towing the slab here, Max Freed. And the left-hander to face the Phillies lineup. Tell me about him. Well, I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup. You know, it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch, but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat. Otherwise, it's going to get hit hard. So look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play, a ground ball, something like that to get out of an inning, change it up for a hitter. Also, get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in an at bat. 107. And here it comes. A little out front there as he swings through it. Filthy change up right there. Just pulled the string. And there's a the ball. pitch fouled off to the right next pitch off the play three and two down left hand hitter waits this one popped up right side Olsen under it and makes the grab one away as we take a gander at Joe Girardi's lineup for the Phillies they're dealing with a top level arm on the mound so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. what's the key to the offense today singing oh Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm make him uncomfortable a little bit the guys that can handle the bat and perhaps you know bunt bunt for a base hit Get him moving up. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. 
He made him pay for that one. That's career homer number 149. And that gives him a lead. It's 1-0. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. One out, base is empty. JT Real Muto stands in for the Phillies. The catcher. JT. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. And Tingy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know if you don't get to guys like this a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. And Real Muto is out. That four, the designated hitter. Twice. Harper. Here's Harper again. First pitch just misses. I think it's huge that they were able to score right away. You're playing on the road. Stakes are high. Energy in the ballpark. And you have to quiet that down a little bit. Next offering is downstairs. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Here's Harper. The count two and one. And that one a little bit high. And the 3 1. And that one wrapped foul. Hit well, right field, way back, and gone. Bryce Harper goes deep, and they add a run. It's 2 0. He got on plane with that high fastball, but look how his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Absolutely crushed that pitch. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Batting fit. The right fielder, number eight. In there, and it's 0-1. Good eye right there. And that one is lifted in the air. Grabs it on the run. And that is the third out of the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. And it's two zip. We go to the bottom of the first. And today's starting pitcher, Ranger Suarez. Four pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough if you know a guy's got that in his back pocket as a hitter. You really have to stay on your toes. 
Ronald Acuna Jr. takes a strike as he leads things off. Pitch. And that one hit to first, and that's a base hit. And aboard on the leadoff single. Dansby Swanson stands in. Suarez checks on first. In there for strike one. Runner, runner, Acuna runner. runs. Swing and a miss. Real mutual throws, not in time. It's a stolen base. Chris is wheels with a difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. And he deals. Bounce to the right side, and a base hit right past his coach, headed for the plate. Just ahead of the throw, he scores, and it's a one-run game. Really nice job, a two-strike hitting and that at that. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Here's Austin Riley. Batting third, the third baseman. In the first pitch misses for ball one. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. The lefty, the 1-0. That one missed. pitch that's through there for a strike pickoff throw back standing he's in there safely Swanson on at first nobody out swing and a miss that is strike two with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. Next one misses, and that's ball three. So here we go. Base runner at first, could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. That one ripped right center field. That's back. And that one is out of here. Austin Riley goes deep, and the Braves have the lead now. It's 3-2. He wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, but it paid off. Here is Matt Olson. Batting four, the first baseman, Matt. Up the middle, Olsen. Sosa collects it. On the run, sends it over to first, one away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. Here's Brian Snickers lined up for the Braves. 
Yeah, with their ace on the mound today, they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support. They'll see what they can do for him. Well, you have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this on the mound for you to not become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. You have to make sure you put him in a situation where he can get the W, but also you guys can cruise to the finish line and not have to worry about a comeback in the end. Still only one out here in the inning. Next offering is down low. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that oh. part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. One down, base is empty. There's a strike. Foul ball there. Here comes a pitch. Lined into right. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. That exists. And now it's Travis, Travis Darno with the play. Travis Darno. First offering oh. misses the mark. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. That to right. And that one gets down, fair ball. And that's going to get into the corner. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scored position and just one out. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Pretty good changeup on the outside corner, but he did exactly what you're supposed to do with that pitch. See it deep and keep your hands inside it to drive it the other way. Here's Orlando Arcia. Batting seven. The second baseman, Orlando. Arcia. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Castellanos makes the catch. Both runners tagging. That's a sacrifice fly as he comes across and they take a two run lead. Man, there's a sack fly to bring home another run in this inning. These guys are just piling it on. We're seeing some really quality at bats out of this team right now. Michael Harris next up for the Braves. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Ball, First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit, or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. On the ground. That's a base hit run scores. Well done. Drives in the run. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now it's Robbie Grossman. The switch hitter batting right. Batting done. The left fielder. Robbie Grossman. First offering and it just misses. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that pitch is going to end up, which gives him that really quick first step. And that's why he makes runner on the goal. It's a pitch out. 
throw to second. Ow! And that will end the inning. We'll try to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Back here in Atlanta, top of the second. And now for the Phillies, Alec Bull. The, the Phils in striking distance, but Alex. have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And the pitch. Good eye right there. The 1 0. On the ground to third. Throw on to Olsen. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. Gene Segur at the plate here. That one's in there 0 and 1. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. That's a laser base hit. Around first, heading for two. Swanson, relay to second. Not going to get him. He's in there. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Man at second with one away. And yeah, the batter now, Matt Veerling. First offering misses badly for ball one. One out and a runner at second. Next pitch misses, and that's ball two. Time to check in our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well-liked umpire, Boo. Pretty consistent with his zone, so if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. Hot shot to third in plenty of time to first and two away now. Batting up the shortstop, Edmundo Sosa. Edmundo Sosa stands in for the Phillies. High fly ball out to center field. Makes the catch in and goal. Philly strand one, and the deficit remains 5 2. Back at Truist Park, we head to the bottom of the second. Now, here is Robbie Grossman. The left fielder, Robbie Grossman. And a pitch. Ball one low. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. On, and now the lefty. That's the ball. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. pitch and a foul ball let's go wait for the pitch right, line drive to short and caught the right fielder number 13 Ronald Acuna Jr. here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate He's a guy 
Chris, his highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. That one ripped. That's back there. Hits the fence. Cut off, throw to third. Not in time, he's safe. He quickly went from hitter to base runner. Love when guys make that transition, and he's got speed to put on a show. Runner at third with one gone. Here's the shortstop at the play. Dansby play. Swanson. Not shortstop. Dansby. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Beerland gliding back. Makes the grab. Runner tags for home. Segura with a relay home. He'll score the sack fly. And they lead by four. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Austin Riley next up for the Braves. First offering is fouled off. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. Yo, one. In the air, out towards left center. He's got it. And that is out number three. We played two full, Brave six, and the Phillies two. You know how it goes, one, one, two, one, two. That was the zip code, December 27 was the birth of Kanata, the Met fan, born in the home. Back here at the ballpark, top half of the third inning, Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. The left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. The wind of the pitch. There's a strike. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. Next pitch inside, and that's ball one. Kicks and deals. Swing, and he breaks his back. Riley. He's in there. A nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. Next to hit, Reese Hoskins. He's already homered here in this one. Now this one's crushed down the line. Looking foul ball. All over the first pitch fastball right there, but just a little bit out front. Got to let it travel just a bit more. They say it went. Oh, and two. Oh, and two now. And now one and two. So now one and two to Reese. Lifted in the air, out to left. Grossman drifts towards it. Makes the grab, one away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying now closed. Back. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Yeah, the first offering is not close. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits, some slogs, some home runs can come into play. Schwarber leads off first with one away. Right, 
Ground ball, left side. Dives, and he can't hang on. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game. Here's the Phillies DH, Bryce Harper. He's already homered in this one. And first offering is fouled off. Well, I'll say this as a former position player and base stealer. When you come into a game and you've got a guy like this behind the dish with a big arm, you really have to change your approach. You can't try to steal because you'll get thrown out. Maybe get a little bigger lead, be aggressive on the secondary. But this type of guy shuts the running game down. Runners at first and second with one gone. Next pitch downstairs. Now two and two. Two two. That one drifts inside. Swing and a ball hammered left field back there. That one outs against the fence. Swanson with a relay throw. Not in time. He scores. And it's now a two run game. Hey, they're right back in this thing after adding those two runs on the board. I love that swing, and I'm sure his hitting coach does even more. Took a pitch right on the low outside corner of the zone and just ripped it for a base hit and that's easier said than done Nick Castellanos at the plate now rips that one to right under it is a cool to make the grab that's out number two not fooled at all right there he was clearly all over it but sometimes you now hit it too hard and the right at someone Alec. looking for one of those loop hits Boom. to get a knock sometimes and now it's Alec Bohm First pitch, and that's in for a strike. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at bat to try to get something to hit hard. Next pitch is downstairs. And another ball. Two outs. And one in scoring position. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. And he makes the catch. And the inning is over. But they'll pick up a couple runs here. Both coming on this two-run double. It's now a 6-4 ball game. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Well, after you pick up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Suarez back to work. Way high. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Next pitch is outside. At the belt and fires. And a foul ball makes the count two and a one. The pitch. 
Ground ball right side. Fires over to Hoskins. And Olsen is set down. Now batting, the designated hitter, William Contreras. And now it's William Contreras. One for one with a single so far. Bounce to the left side. That's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. Run around at first with one gone. Travis Dardo will hit next. Run around the move. Lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. Contreras coming home. He'll score easily, and they lead by three. A little more back spin on that instead of the top spin. He's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. And the Phillies manager making his way towards the mound now as he will make a move. Ranger Suarez done for the afternoon. It's a three-run game, and we'll be back to tell you about the new arm in a minute. So they turn things over to one of their young arms, Bailey Falter. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Bailey One down. Here's the second baseman, Orlando Arcia. Now batting. The second baseman. And the first pitch Orlando. misses for ball one. Hitter's got Arcia. some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Next offering is down low, and it's 2-0. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Nick Nelson, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. And that one fouled off. And a foul ball. And now two and two. That's inside. And a pitch. And that's ball four. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Michael Harris next up for the Braves. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation or maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. And that one hammered. That's back. Slams into the wall and hangs on. Runner tagging for third. And he moves up a base. So two away with runners at the corners. Now batting. The left fielder. Robbie. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Robbie Grossman. In there and it's 0-1. Most hitters are looking for a first pitch fastball. You're not really timed up for a changeup. So if it's well located by the pitcher, he can get strike one. And a base hit knocks in a run. And it bangs up against the wall. Arcia around third. Segura with a relay home. In there. He scores. And the lead is up to five. 
gets the job done as he brings home a pair. Just a great approach. Looked like that was exactly what he wanted to do with that pitch. And right off the bat, he knew he was taking that wide turn at first to head for second. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Now batting, right fielder. Pitch Ronald misses inside, Acuna ball one. Jr. Ronald Acuna Jr., a guy who burst on the scene in 2018. He was only 20 years old, and he is one of the great talents in baseball right now. Next pitch is outside. And on second, two down. That one fouled off. And a pitch just off the outside part of the plate. Runner leads away at second. Fouls one away and now three and two. The pitch on the ground to the left. Boom goes on to first. Gets him easily, ends the inning. On to the fourth now in game number one. Braves nine and the Phillies four. Welcome back. Now it's going to be Gene Segura. Leading off for the Phillies, the second baseman, Gene Segura. The wind of the pitch. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. That's got a chance. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. So he blasts one out the other way, and they inch closer. It's 9 5. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. And now Matt Veerling. Now batting the seventh fielder, Matt Veerling. In there for strike one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. All in one now. And that's down and away. Two one. Line drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now batting. Shortstop. Edmundo Sosa. And digging in for Philadelphia. Edmundo Sosa. That yeah. one's in there, 0 and 1. Not what he's looking for there in the 0 0 count. Looks like he wants the ball down in the zone. Next offering is foul back. Got him. Out number two. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. He got three straight fastballs looking in the 0 2 count. Oh. Just to pour it back. Back to the top of the lineup, and now Kyle Schwarber. And that one fouled off.
The next offering misses, and it's one and one. That one missing inside. The wind and the pitch. Yeah. Two and two's the count. Stays alive. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. There's a swing and a drive. And out of here. Kyle Schwarber goes deep, and they close the gap. It's 9 6. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. You saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. First offering misses the mark. That one hammered left field. That's bad. And that one is out of here. He flexes his power with that swing. His 150th career homer. And they cut into the lead. It's 9-7. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Max Freed will give way, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get your back. New pitcher for the Braves, now, number 53. Trying to protect this lead. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. So two down, and now it is JT Real Muto. JT. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, with both starters out of the game, this quickly becomes a bullpen game, and this is something we see more and more in the game today, especially in the postseason. Two outs. And it's fouled away. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Next offering way off the plate. Righty delivers. Good. And a foul ball, he stays alive. 2-2 two -two now. And that just misses. Three two on the way. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. And now it rolls all the way to the wall. And he's in at second with a two out double. Now that designated hitter. And now here is Harper. Harper. On a line out towards center. Harris makes the catch. And that'll do it. They explode with three solo homers in the inning. To the bottom of inning number four now. Braves nine and the Phillies seven. Back here in Atlanta, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now in for the Braves, Dansby Swanson. That's your stop. Swanson, former first-round pick by the Arizona Diamondbacks. Vanderbilt player in college, college World Series player, all that good stuff. But... Really coming into his own. 
puts it in the air out towards left center. Schwarber makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it now into it. his highest gear baseman. and go a long oh, way to track that one down. Nothing oh, yeah. better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Riley lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Around first and hustling for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. Here's Matt Olson. Now that the first baseman. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Oh, and ball one. Left hand batter waits. Strike two. Right over at second, one down. That one handled, and Olsen is set down. The batter, the designated hitter, William Contreras. William Contreras, next up for the Braves. All the way these two teams have battled in this game, you know you need more. Got to continue to add runs if you're going to get out of here with a win. There's a foul ball. Runner at second, two down. Smash to the left side, and it goes just foul. Next offering is downstairs. And downstairs. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. 2-2 two -two down. That one the other way. Makes the play, and it's out number three. One left for Atlanta. They lead it by two. It's 9-7. at Truist Park. Top five, John Chambi with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Nick Castellanos. The right fielder, Nick Castellanos. Oh. And the right hander back to work. That's in there. That's strike one. Activity in the bullpen. Colin McHugh is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. Minter getting loose as well. Right-handed reliever. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Makes the catch. And there's one down. The battle. The third baseman. Alec Bohm. Alec Bohm, the next to hit. First pitch, oh, just down. misses. That one is upstairs. The why to kick the pitch. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. And there's a strike. 
two and two. Just missed. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. One gone runner at first. And now here is Gene Segura. That's out to center field. Harris gets under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there are two outs. Now batter, the center fielder, Matt Fearley. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Matt Fearling. Yeah. And the first pitch misses for ball one. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Riding to the plate. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Strike is there. Throw to second. Out at second. That ends the inning. Head to the bottom of the fifth, and here is Travis Dardo for the break. The catcher, Travis Dardo. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals, and there's a ball. Swung on, belted. That one's back. And out of here. Travis Darno hits one out. His second home run of the series. It's 10-7. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing in the bat for him. Man, he has really seen the ball well in this one. job of getting his arms extended to get the back part of the bat to the baseball. Wrists do not roll over. They stay through the zone and on play. Excellent swing. Orlando Arcia next up for the Braves. Up next for Atlanta. The second base in there and it's on way. Oh, just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. The 0-1. Down the line towards the corner. Schwarber on the move. And there's one away. Now batting center fielder. Michael. Michael Harris. Next up for the Braves. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. They say it went. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Now two away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that Not time for a little anxious. No left fielder. Robbie. Roseman. Two outs, base is empty. Now the left fielder, Robbie Grossman. First offering misses the mark.
kicks and fires. And now two and nothing. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field pretty well struck. And that one's gone. He circles the bases and they add to their lead. It's 11-7. part of the plate is typically hit the other way, but to be able to get to it, pull the baseball and do it up in the air for a home run, I was really impressed. Out of the bullpen for the Phillies, Nick Nelson. He has a great slider with tons of movement. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. The right fielder, number 13. First pitch, and he just misses. That one missed. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. And that's the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. Five innings complete. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's the center fielder, Matt Veerling. And he deals. And a strike in there. Right-hander kicks, deals. That one off the mark, and that's ball one. Looks like he was trying to get to the front door with that curveball. It's definitely a finesse pitch, but it backed up a little bit on him and stayed inside. And here it comes. And that's downstairs and outside. pitch on the ground right side dives but it kicks off his glove he doesn't have a play he's in safely and now there's a runner at first now batting the so up next Edmundo Edmundo Sosa. Sosa in there for strike one now, this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Next pitch is in the dirt. One and one. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's going to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. And a pitch. And now two balls and a strike. Back to back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Kicks and deals. Two. And he pumps it a strike. Runner at first with no outs here. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the now process. He did everything you. right right there. Kyle Nothing to show for it. Schwarber. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. And now for the Phillies, Kyle Schwarber. That one's in there, 0 and 1. No ball, one strike. The pitch. 
There's the strike. He doesn't seem to like the pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. And the right hander deals. All one there. 0-2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. At the belt and fires. That one hooked foul. The pitch. Runner takes off, stays alive. Check on the runner. Low throw, and he can't take it out. Beerling at first, one gone. Next offering is fouled back. In the dirt. Runner holds tight as the count moves to two and two. Slice the other way and foul. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these guys are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Grinding AB right here, about to see pitch number 10. And now the count filled up three and two. Pickoff loop first. Beerling back in on a dive. And a pitch. And there's ball four. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing now the walk. Very the gritty. Reese. Hoskins pushes a foul. The pitch. Fought off foul. One out. Runners at first and second. Gonna count one and two. Good miss with that change up away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here. On the hitter side, nice job of laying off that pitch. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Paris settles under it. He's got it. There's two away. Now back. The catcher. JT. JT Real Muto steps in. This one blasted the other way, down the line, and it's a foul ball. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Two on, two outs. Now this one is smoked down the left field line. On its way, if it's fair, out of here. That was a moonshot, and they tack on three. It's 11-10. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. At Singy, it tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. 
Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling, and I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on the baseball. Here comes a new arm for the Braves, Colin McHugh. He's into the game with the bases empty. Here's Bryce Harper. Designated hey, partner, how's your scorecard looking right now? A little dicey, kind of hieroglyphic style at the moment. You know what it's like, Singy? Remember our trip to London, Yankees and Red Sox in 2019? I think there were, were there 50 runs scored in the two games combined? My scorecard was ugly for that series. Next one is off the play. Two balls, no strikes. Two down, nobody on. That one is absolutely belted. And that ball is gone. A towering shot to center, and this game is tied. It's 11-11. There was a cutter away, kind of works like a slider. You've got to stay on it, let it travel a little bit, and then get your arms extended. Really good piece of hitting right there. Nick Castellanos stands in for the Phillies. Up next for Philadelphia, the right fielder. Nick First pitch, just misses. Yeah, pretty ridiculous. And you use like five different colors of pens, so like it's just a mosaic over there. Yeah, I mean, I, I know you're always judging the different pens that, you know, I got the skinny scoring pen and then I have the red and then the black and then I got a highlighter. So this one's into the outfield. Could be extra bases. And it kicks off the base of the wall. And into second easily with a two out double. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Now Pretty that much a model swing base. on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And a pitch. And there's the strike. That's hard hit on the line. Well, that's a base hit. Just kind of sliced that one into center. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. It's 12-11. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI team. to give him the Second lead. Base. Good extension on that swing. Yeah. Took the pitch on the Absolutely. outside part of the plate and drove it up the middle. He let it travel just enough. Now, Gene Segura. He's already homered in this game. First pitch, not close. Ball one, no strikes to Segura. Bounce to the right. Throw on to Olsen, and that's the third out. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. And the home team down to run. Welcome back. Well, we go bottom six, and the batter will be the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. Not shortstop, Dansby. The wind of the pitch. In the dirt, one and oh. Bullpen activity starting up now. Brad Hand, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. And the righty deals. So two balls and no strikes. Right-handed reliever. 
And a foul ball makes the count two and one. Good eye right there. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. And the pitch. That's ripped. Base hit. Around first, digging for two. Safe at second with nobody out, and he represents the tying run. So when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like you did right there. Austin Riley, next up for the Braves. This guy has now turned Manny. into Third a baseman. beast. Austin Riley. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. You know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. And he'll one. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down in 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. One guy that was really great once the count got to two strikes, Miguel Cabrera. And that one goes straight to the backstop. Right, Righty delivers. And a swing and a miss. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's the pitch. Baseman. Tailing away from the hitter, yeah. mowing away with some good action oh, at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. Into the game Brad. now, the southpaw Brad Hain. A runner on second to deal with. He'll do his best to keep him there. Matt Olson up to the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. So the tying run at second. Well, this is a little tough for the hitter in the back of the mind. You're wondering with first base open, am I going to get a pitch to hit? Got to stay back. Let your hands work. Stay in the middle of the field. 2-0. Fouled off left side. Swanson, the runner at second with one away. Left-hand hitter waits. And now it's filled up. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. I don't think you really wanted the pitch to him right there anyhow. So here's the Braves' designated hitter, William Contreras. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity of the show has gone up a few notches for sure. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. That one hit to right. And there's two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. So first and second with two outs. Now it's the Atlanta catcher, Travis Dardo. In the air, left side. Schwarber, ranging to his right. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that is that. Two left for Atlanta, but this has been one to remember.
12-11. Now we see Rysel Iglesias out of the bullpen. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Right there, Iglesias. Back here at the ballpark, stepping in, Matt Veerling. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. Kicks and fires. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Here comes a pitch. Stays alive. The one two. Popped in the air, left side. Swanson pulls it down, and there's one down. Up next for Philadelphia, the shortstop. Edmundo. Now it's Sosa. the shortstop, Edmundo Sosa. And first offering is fouled off. The other way. And he takes it himself for the out. Now that left fielder. Kyle Schwarber at the play. Kyle Schwarber. First offering misses the mark. Next offering is fouled back. Next one misses, and it's two and one. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Tarno makes the catch, and that'll do it. Down quickly, go to Phillies. They still lead it, though, 12-11. Sir Anthony Dominguez has checked into the game. And this guy can bring it velocity wise. Welcome back. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now it's the second baseman, Orlando Arcia. The second baseman, Orlando Arcia. Why the kick the pitch? And delivers outside. Fouled off. He was late. One one now. Two and one. Slapped foul. And he deals. Got him. One away. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you get the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you've got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Michael Harris, next up for the Braves, one for three. In there, and it's 0-1. Trying to keep good speed off the bases.
Looking to get the tying run on base. He swings and fouls one off. And here comes. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Very strong coming yeah, out of the pen so far no as he punches field. out the first two Robbie. batters he's faced in this one. Getting Gross, straight man. to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. Digging in is the switch hitting outfielder, Robbie Grossman. And first offering is fouled off. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a miss. 0 oh 2. He's in a great spot right here. Ahead in the count 0 oh 2. All four pitches in play right here, partner. The tying run at the plate. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Two outs. And now one and two. One and two. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next offering misses. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Right into the plate. Center field. Beerlin makes the catch, and that'll do it. And the Braves go down quietly. But this has been one to remember. It's 12-11. Here comes A.J. Minter to the mound. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. A.J. Minter. Ready to begin the eighth. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. The first base for 17, Reese Hoskins. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss there. And now the lefty. One and one. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. At the belt and fires. Two and two. And that one missing low. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Here comes a 3-2. Foul ball. Kicks and deals. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, he hammered that one to center. I thought it was out of here, but Wade just battle. absolutely killed the it. JT. And now it's going to be JT Real Muto, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Let's go guys. Come on. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Movement in the bullpen. Jesse Chavez, the veteran right hander, appears to be loosening up.
And now the 0 1. Out to short. Swanson gloves it. Gets it to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. The batter, number three. Designated hitter, Bryce. Harper. Two outs, base is empty. Bryce Harper to the plate. Lined and that's a base hit. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Nick Castellanos stands in for the Phillies. First pitch just misses. Kicks and fires. Two balls, no strikes to count. Now move to first. Harper's back at a dive. Another throw. Harper, the runner at first with two gone. Good. The 2 0 is in for a strike. The pitch rolled softly, but that goes foul. Here's a 2 2. That one is hammered right field. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two out double, second and third now. Two hits for him in now this one, both for extra bases. bases. Gotta feel now good it. about that. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but. You're always happy with an extra base hit. So two on with two away. And digging in for Philadelphia, Alec Bohm. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Two outs, two in scoring position. Next off is down low. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. The pitch. That one's spoiled and count now two and one. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Next pitch is downstairs. Second and third, two down. And now a full count. Hit one run in already. In there safely. Big at bat to pad their lead up to three. Nice line drive to the full side. Bet it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. 
New pitcher for the Braves, Jesse Chavez. Now pitching for the Braves. Number 27, Jesse Chavez. Two outs, runner at first. And here is Gene Segura. First pitch, and he just misses. And the righty deals. And fouled off. Pitch. That's down and in. Two balls, one strike. Yeah, the right hander deals. Yeah, the two one hammered but foul. Throw the first, and he's back in there. Comes the 2 2. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Last half of the eighth coming up. The Phillies lead it 14 to 11. Connor Brogdon comes on now. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Back here in Atlanta, bottom of the eighth. Now the leadoff spot for the Braves, Ronald Acuna Jr. The right fielder, Ronald Acuna Jr. And a pitch. That's a strike. Going one. Stirring in the Phillies bullpen, Antoine Payne. Up and throwing for Joe Girardi. The 0-1. Swung on and fouled off. And he'll need a new bat. That one ripped, but foul. And down on strikes he goes. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. No, that's not the best two strike fastball I've seen, but it certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Next to hit, Dansby Swanson. In there for strike one. And the pitch on the ground is short. And a couple of quick outs. Now battle the third baseman, Austin Riley. And next for Atlanta, Austin Riley. Well, it's critical right here that they pair down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Righty delivers. And that one pulled foul. But only on that fastball, I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. The one-two. Stays alive.
Right-handed reliever. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Right-hander kicks, deals. And now the count is even. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. Next offering in the dirt. Ball three. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Two down, nobody on. This to third, and he can't come up with it. But in time, nice job to stay with it to end the inning. Back at Truist Park, we go to the ninth. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Matt Veerlin. Matt Veerlin. Pitch. Rips one to right. And Acuna able to make the grab. And a quick out number one. Clearly ready to hit right there. First pitch of the inning now hits a bullet. It just is one of those Edmundo. bad luck ABs. So sad. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Edmundo Sosa. Swings through that one, 0-1. The Braves' bullpen has some activity. Dylan Lee getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. And here it comes. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Harris racing over to make the catch. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. Yeah. And that's in there for strike one. Left-hand batter waits. And that one almost got him. Here comes the pitch. Check swing, but he went too far. One and two. Throwing the ball well, and they need the score to score the inning in relief right here. He's doing a good job keeping him in striking distance. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And that is that. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six coming up. Phillies lead this one 14 to 11. So out of the pen comes the right hander, Antoine Payne. And he'll work on holding this lead. Antoine Payne. Last chance for the home team. And now Matt Olsen up to him. For the break. The first baseman. Smash. A wide to kick the pitch. Olsen. Ball one, no strikes. And that's outside. A wide to kick the 2-0. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. Next pitch, not close, up high. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the Let's second go. time he's taken right. ball four. Digging in, William Contreras. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. He is a talented player, and his big brother Wilson has voiced that his little brother may end up being better than he is. First offering misses badly for ball one. Maybe losing command a little bit after the wall. Next pitch, not even close. Going, 
right into the play. And a foul ball. Here's a 1 1. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Hoskins makes the grab. One away. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Travis Dardo digs in now. Yeah, the first offering is not close. Looking to get something going, this is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. The pitch. Slider misses outside. New Your pitcher on three. now, Andrew Bellotta. Now pitching for the Phillies, number 64, Andrew Bellotti. Olsen, the base runner at first with one out. Pitch misses inside, three balls, no strikes. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Going to be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead and account quickly. He hasn't. We'll see how this at bat turns out. In for a strike, now three and one. And he deals. Way out front for strike two. The line drive single into right center. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Well, that may end up being an at bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on the line. It takes so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Arcia in the box now, takes strike one. Runners are at the corners, one away. The next pitch misses, and the count is one and one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. In the air, out towards right center. Beerland has a beat on it. He's got it. Runner tags from third. Hoskins with a relay throw. Not in time. He's safe at the plate. And now just a two-run deficit. Well, that's a quality of bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Michael Harris now at the plate. That one fouled off. Two run game, a two away here at the bottom of the ninth. The next offering misses. And one and one. 
One ball, one strike. Comes up empty. That's strike two. So far, all we've seen in this at bat are fastballs. Look for him to slow it down right here ahead in the count. Down to their final strike. That's the ball. And another ball. Big pitch coming right here. The last thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't move one either. Two outs. And the tying run is on base. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots now like this. Make the, the team turn their way out. So they're making a move for a bat off the bench. Vaughn Grissom, a critical at bat in this game for him. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. At the belt and fires. Lots of anxious fans in the ballpark right now. You can feel it. Trying to keep the game alive here in the bottom of the ninth. Hard hit left side. And foul ball. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. Next pitch misses. The count now two and two. Two on, two outs. This one in the air center field. Beerland settles under this one. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Phillies take game one on the road. and nine minutes. Our paid attendance at Truist Park this afternoon, 41,500. The Braves thank you for your continued support and remind you to please drive home safely. Whole, whole lot of